Hey guys, this is Jetta with Our World, Our Way. I appreciate you all tuning in today. Uh, I'd like to just basically talk to you about my experience here in Ecuador. Uh, recently, I successfully passed Cambridge University's CELTA course, and I want to let you know what that was like from my perspective. So hopefully, if you decide to take this route, you'll know exactly what you're getting into. <laughs> there were some things that I knew in advance, but then again, there were some things that I did not know. So I want to be as informative as possible so that you can make the decision on whether or not this is something for you. If you don't know what CELTA is, CELTA is basically a TEFL course, teaching English as a foreign language abroad. So sit back, relax, and just stay tuned for all of the details about my experience. All right? Okay, everybody, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the question and answer portion of the video. Uh, today, Jetta is going to be answering some questions from people who have inquired about the CELTA program. Uh, before she got started with the program, unfortunately, she didn't get all the answers to find out all the things that she probably should have known going in. So hopefully this video will help you have more information on what it's really like to be a part of the CELTA program. Okay? All right, so starting with the first question. What led you to do the CELTA course? Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, helping others has always been a huge part of who I am. And having been a volunteer as well as working for a few nonprofits over the years, I've always really felt the need to be hands-on when it comes to humanitarian work. And teaching English as a second language to non-native speakers, it leaves me with the opportunity to really make a big impact in ways that I had never ever even imagined before. And so Cambridge University's CELTA course is really a gateway, a gateway into a life that allows me to not only travel, but uh, allows me to also connect with people from all over the world. And on top of that, to teach them as well as share with them and learn some amazing and some incredible things in the process. Now, I could have chosen any TEFL course out there, but I specifically selected CELTA course to Cambridge University because it is internationally recognized all over the world, and, uh, and I'm better for it in the end. Okay, next question. Did you get from it what you expected? Wow. <laughs> well, I don't know if I got from it what I expected or um, if I had any expectations going into it, but I did hear that the course was quite challenging, so I knew that it would be something uh, that I would have to fight for, and that definitely proved to be true in the end. Okay. All right, next question. What was the best part of the course? Wow. Well, the best part, of the course, for me was uh, certainly engaging with the ESL students, as well as learning from all of my co-learners in the course. Uh, the way that the course is set up is that for half of the day, you're basically a student in a classroom learning from your CELTA students, I'm sorry, your CELTA tutors, and uh, you're trying out new and creative learning techniques. Um, and the other half of the day, you're basically in the classroom as a teacher yourself, teaching the lessons that you have prepped and prepared for, and you're teaching them to real live ESL students. So you're actually a teacher for a portion of the day. Now, just before we taught a lesson to our students, we would engage in dialogue with them beforehand, as well as doing it after class. So it really helped to build the rapport that you needed um, for a better engagement with the students while you were actually teaching them the courses throughout the class. So I would say for me, that was the best part of the whole entire CELTA experience. I enjoyed those moments because, again, it allowed me to engage with them better once I got a chance to get up there and teach them the lesson for the day. Okay, before we get to the next question, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there that we are, in fact, in Cuenca, Ecuador, and there's a little <laughs> construction going on yes. in the building behind us, so you may hear some knocking about, so don't be alarmed. <clears throat> it's just the city that we're in. Okay, so uh, the next question, 
what was the worst part of the course? Hmm. Wow. The worst part of the course is certainly that it can be very, very, <laughs> very stressful. As a matter of fact, I believe that it's set up to make you doubt yourself, or at least that was my experience. And uh, so much so to the point where you begin to wonder whether or not teaching English as a second language to foreigners is specifically for you, you know? Um, but again, that's Jetta speaking. That was my experience where I began to doubt myself. But it's designed, I believe it's really designed to make you so stressed out where you need to really ponder that seriously. Uh, the other thing that I thought that wasn't all gravy, all that great, um, is that the course really does not offer much uh, in terms of helping its graduates to find employment afterwards. I mean, there was some vetting, but it was very little to none in regards to that, not much at all. So I would say that those two things are things that sort of stand out for me as far as not being the best or the greatest in regards to this, to this experience. Next question. What skill do you think you improved upon the most throughout the course? Well, I've been a volunteer and I have trained individuals in a variety of capacities, but having never taught in an educational system or in a school environment with the methodology that CELTA provides, I believe that I improve mostly in the area of having students to learn from my eliciting responses from them and from my checking whether or not they understood concept that I was trying to teach through certain and specific questions that I would ask of them. Um, this helped to actually guide them in a way that was very, very unnatural and uncommon for me in terms of my training background. Typically, I would just go ahead and give the information to the student, where with CELTA and their methodology, um, you would literally guide the student to understand a specific teaching point by asking specific questions. So in essence, they basically get there on their own, but you just act as a conduit um, or a guide for them. So I think that I grew the most in that regard with the entire training and the entire process. All right, so next question. Hmm. What advice would you give to someone who is contemplating doing the CELTA? I say go for it. I mean, if you go for it, just be prepared, however, because it can be one of the worst learning experiences of your life. First of all, you're not going to have much time for anything. I mean, if you make time for it, just be warned. It could be to your detriment. So, I mean, you're going to be enthralled with everything from being in classrooms all day long, listening to your CELTA tutors, and in evenings, you're going to be expected to either teach a lesson or sit in and watch your co-learners teach a lesson. And when you're not doing either of these things, you're going to be spending a whole lot of time doing lesson plans or just working on your writing assignments. So if it's something that you really want to do, if you know these things in advance, I say go for it, but just be prepared know that okay. it's going to be quite stressful from the point where your tutor will sit in the back of the room with a laptop and they'll be writing up your entire feedback while you're up there stressed out teaching your class and then you're going to be observed by everyone including your co-learners the students you're teaching as well as your tutors and afterwards you're going to be giving feedback from everyone involved so as long as you know this going in you know um, it's all good it's all good but just expect to be stressed out and not have any personal time whatsoever. I really liken my CELTA experience to boot camp or like a hazing kind of thing. I mean, it's truly my belief that the system is designed, it's specifically set up and designed to make you feel that pressure so much to the point where you could possibly crack and just quit and give up. I think it's specifically designed that way, but if you know that going in, then it's better for you in the long run. All right, so next question. 
If there was anything that you were not told that you wish you were told, what would it have been? Hmm. There are quite a few things uh, that I wish I was told that I wasn't told. <laughs> but um, certainly I wish I was informed in advance that the Celta course was a cram fest. Had I known that, you know, I would have come in better prepared or I would have said, you know what, this is not for me. Um, in addition to that, I think had I known that my center where I took my course, had I known that they had very limited resources for the amount of students that was enrolled in my course, I don't think I would have chose the center I chose. I mean, my center had three computers, but we had 12 students and six of the students taught on the same day. So that meant that the resource room was filled with all of us running around like chickens with our heads cut off, trying to get our lesson in and trying to get prepared to teach our course for the day. And the room, the resource room, it wasn't available 24 hours, seven days a week. So here you have us, you know, scrounging around, trying to, you know, use the copier, use the printer, use the computers all at the same time. So either get more computers to handle 12 enrolled students in the course or open up the resource center 24 hours. So those are two things that I definitely, you know, had I known in advance, I wouldn't have taken the course. And then last, I would definitely say that the technology at my center was certainly outdated. Uh, it could have been much, much, much more updated than, it, than what it was. Uh, Bluetooth is something that has been rampant for a while now. And to not even have that capability uh, on our site was just, <laughs> it was just ridiculous. But those are things that I wish I would have known in advance, of course. And then, oh, last, I can't even forget this one. Last, it would have been helpful to really know about the living conditions with where we were. So my course was unique because most CELTA courses, actually all of them pretty much, are four weeks. But mine was special in that it was a five-week course, which was awesome. So we had that extra week to give us more time to absorb the information, more time to learn. But we were on campus, and so the living conditions there were not favorable for, for anyone. I mean, it was quite unhealthy um, and very, very unsuitable. Uh, we had mold in our rooms and, you know, you get mold in your lungs and it caused a lot of damage to not just my personal items, but it caused some, some uh, health concerns for a lot of us. So those are things that I certainly wish I would have known before I took the course, at least at my center. All right, next question. If there was one thing you could change about the course, what is it and why? Well, there's more than one thing. <laughs> um, but if I can think about the course itself, one of the things that really come to my mind is certainly stretching out the course a little bit longer, you know, so that people can really, really get the chance to absorb all the information that's being thrown at them all at one time. Um, I said early on that, you know, it's a cram fest. Like, they really want to cram all this information in that short amount of time. But when do you really have the time to absorb the information that's being thrown at you? So I would definitely say that stretching out the course a little bit longer would definitely, definitely help the students to absorb the information and absorb it better. But in addition to that, now, now, ideally speaking, for me, and this is, again, Jetta talking because it's my personal experience, I think that Cambridge University should really, really investigate its centers just to ensure that its directors, its tutors, its assessors, that they are truly unbiased in every way and make sure that prejudice is not really something that's being tolerated at its centers amongst the students because, you know, I, I mean, maybe if they were to undergo some kind of cultural sensitivity training in advance of opening up a center and hiring staff and laying down the gauntlet and letting them know that under no circumstances will any kind of behavior of bias or prejudice is allowed, I mean, that would truly, truly, truly be helpful. 
I mean, to have it written on paper is one thing, but it certainly was not adhered to in my personal experience. So those are things that, uh, that I would definitely look into. All right, next question. Do you think you are prepared to go on and teach as a result of taking the course? If so, how or why? Well, I learned a lot throughout my self experience. I learned methodology. I learned processes, techniques, various amounts of approaches that I would not have known otherwise had it not been for my experience in the CELTA program. Now, the course itself, it helped to lay the foundation. And I believe that with more experience, as well as working in a school, uh, that will provide me with the professional de development that I need as a new teacher. Yes, I am most certainly prepared to teach at the next level and be successful at this if given the opportunity. All right, so for the most important question of all, if you had to do it all over again, would you? No. I endured quite a bit of bias while I was enrolled in the course from insensitive remarks that were made by my tutor to a couple of my co-learners. I even had a co-learner to flip me off several times, I might add, on several occasions. <laughs> Plus, the staff at the center, they chose to handle these probl problematic situations um, in an even more unfair and an even more biased way than what I originally had experienced by being flipped off. Uh, at first, I just chalked it up to, you know, it's just cultural differences. But then as time went on, you know, I, I knew better. I could see that the treatment that I received versus the treatment that some of my co-learners re received was quite different. One example was an issue that I had with one of my co-learners. I mean, I was harassed by this guy, flipped off by him, and I reported it to my tutors as well as to the director of the school. Now, get this, two of my other fellow co-learners, they had a similar problem with this same person and they reported it to the school. Now, when they reported it, we were all pulled together in a meeting and we were told, <laughs> get this now, we were told that we were ganging up on this guy, even though he was the one who was doing all of the harassing. Now. This is what I mean when I talk about a disparity in the treatment. The other two co-learners of mine, they received an apology from the director of the school. Did you think that I got an apology? No, none whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I was told that, you know, that basically that I was, I, I was made to feel like I was a, the problem. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, and I just want to, you know, just say that, you know, this was my experience, so it doesn't mean that it'll be your experience, but just know going in, this is what I had to deal with. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's what happened. Um, it's real, uh, but I am better for the experience in the end. So there you have it. So I want to, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. This is Jetta signing off with our world, our way, and always remember to live, love, laugh, thrive.